Looking at the front of the Jimny here, you can see we have a plastic factory insert mesh. Some sort of aftermarket plastic covered crap, poorly fitted. And then a metal version of this, but rusty. So the aim is to get the bumper off, get all these shitty things out and try and make it look good. <laughs> Now the basic fittings are the plastic pop-out button things which are mostly lining the guard liners as well as three along the front here then we've got a couple of big bolts each side of where the number plate is and then a couple underneath and you want to start by just popping the edges out and you've got a couple of hooks just to take off from here as you can see, this has a hook here, here and here, which just sort of grab over this part here. So that comes off and the bumper should now come off. Easy. Give us a clean while it's off. And let's have a look at the bumper. So this is the factory one, as you can see, held in by uh, these little sort of clasp things here. There's a couple of those left over this plastic one here. And this metal, so it looks like they've, they've just used what they had to hand, but it's a terrible fit, so. And I, I hate the look of it, so I'm gonna take it off. We'll run with nothing on there for a while. And uh, once I get some new mesh stuff, we'll probably do a better job than this. such a certain length of this material so I just want to make sure that we're as economical with it as possible. So lay it over the space, put about an inch all around to make sure you don't have to wrap around. So I've just made a mark already here which should sort of give me plenty to fit over that so I'll cut that out and we'll try it out. So cut this out, it's a good size, we've got enough each side to be able to wrap around. We want to trim it down a bit so obviously it's way too large. So it's moving it up, enough to go around the edge and trim it off at this level all the way across. Throw on some cable ties to pull it together, hold it down tight. The only thing with this product is when you bend it sharply it splits so i've got a bit of a split from about this length here so i'm going to try and be a bit uh tactful with the adhesive along here to see if i can help adhere that bit on a bit just trying to give a bit of weight on them to keep them nicely affixed while the glue sets off i'm not that happy really with the, the middle one but uh we'll see how it goes once it's set and I'm just about to adhere this one. You can see how I've tried to make use of what was remaining of the factory fittings. And just sort of cut out these little joints here so you can fold them in nice and tight. It's got some weights down to try and hold the material to the surface. Hopefully it doesn't look too shit house from the other side once it dries. 